All right, I'm here with Ben Harris, CEO of Fresco, and you are here to tell us a little bit about the secret sauce or maybe secret chips uh, that you guys have that are helping you guys kind of get traction and continue to get traction within the smart kitchen world. So tell us about that. Yeah, cheers, Mike. Uh, so yeah, we're here at, uh, at KBiz, um, the, a, a great show for showcasing, especially sort of major appliances. Um, we've got a great booth here that we'll share a little bit more on later. Um, but yeah, I think one of the things that myself and Mike was, were just chatting about here is one thing that really differentiates Fresco and why so many appliance partners are uh, working with Fresco right now. Uh, and that is actually linked to, to this chip here. Uh, so this is uh, the industry standard IoT, IoT chip now from Espressive, the ESP32. Uh, in the last couple of months, they actually shipped their billionth chip uh, of this ESP32. Um, so what Fresco do is we work with Espressive directly. Uh, if you don't have uh, any connectivity or uh, a Linux-based device, what you can do is buy from Espressive uh, a chip which has the Fresco agent on it. Uh, we have uh, team members, whether it be in China or uh, the US or in Europe, who can actually help you uh, integrate this chip onto the appliance itself. Um, we talk uh, over uh, UART uh, to your MCU on your appliance. That's an on bus uh, kind of communication channel, exactly, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. Uh, and once that's hooked up, uh, we have this yeah, universal protocol uh, where we can actually sort of describe the different capabilities of your appliance, then everything else is hooked up and connected. So you can then easily add on uh, your own branded apps. You can leverage our CMS. You can leverage your data analytics platform in the back end. But most importantly, from your con for your consumers, you get this amazing guided cooking experience inside your app. So it makes you know perfect cooking simple on top of the whole platform. So you have, for example, this chip is in Instant Pot. Um, it's in other countertops like the Panasonic, the microwave you guys just you did the deal with them. Is it in the big iron stuff like the kind of the built-in appliances as well? Uh, so we actually have two ways to integrate. Okay. So this is going into uh, built-in ovens. Uh, for ovens that or any major appliance that has a, a, a Linux-based screen in it, uh, we have uh, also another KitchenOS agent that is does the same thing, but on a, some of the bigger modules that already have like a, a Bluetooth chip in it. Uh, so that's uh, where if you see any ovens or appliances that have screens in it, it would use that KitchenOS agent and not this chip. So countertop appliance makers, if they're just on non-connected appliances, um, they don't have the internal expertise to build uh, a connectivity stack, the hardware, the chips, going out and having those conversations, uh, the related CMS and stuff to, to create content. You guys are providing all that to Trinkey for them, essentially. It's absolutely turn, turnkey, so soup to nuts, you know, so and I think that's the, the, the thing that was really, I think, driven our success, the fact that we're a one-stop shop for all of your connectivity solutions. And having been an old school guy that remembers your origins, you came from the hardware side where you were actually creating the very early stages when you're called drop, the drop scale. So yeah. did this origin and kind of grounding in hardware, build, getting your own chip, your DSPs to build in connectivity, did that come from those early days? Absolutely. Uh, so when we built the original drop scale that went into the Apple stores, we actually, my co-founder Tim, who's here, rewrote some of the TI Bluetooth stack to make sure that, you know, when you pour in the liquid into this connected kitchen scale, that in the app, uh, it almost, it felt instant, you know, uh, so it really felt like they were, they were connected. Uh, the latency on the uh, standard TI Bluetooth stack wasn't good enough. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why Apple loved it, because you know, as you press down on it, um, you'd uh, see the responsiveness in the app right away. It's why consumers loved it as well, is this sort of interactive cookbook. Then when we started to integrate into uh, some of our initial partners, uh, uh, we did in and around the same time, integrations into cloud to cloud integrations with say uh, some of our early partners like GE and Bosch. At the same time, we were also embedding our own firmware uh, in like Kenwood appliances uh, using this ESP32. Yeah. Uh, and then we could see we had much more control of a UX and a great user experience, a great pairing experience, instead of just sort of talk, talk, talking to an appliance at a really way, high level API. With the Cloud, cloud. Exactly. We, build, we build in firmware, chip with firmware in it, it's, it's a lot more responsive. 
like that and it feels instant. Whereas you can see, if you start to look at any of the connected appliances not built by Fresco, it's tap a button in an app, one, two, three, sometimes four seconds. With Fresco, when you tap it, it's almost instant. You know, it feels like it's an extension of the appliance and it definitely makes a big difference to the uh, the engagement for the user. Some of those original lines of code from those the early drop scale still in, still built into there? You guys I'd say until maybe last March. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, and then we've rebuilt uh, from the ground up uh, with KitchenOS. Uh, so that allowed us to, you know, so up until, you know, March of last year, you know, the platform had really just evolved from the, the scale itself. Uh, and then as we were adding new appliances, you know, it was before yeah, it's time KitchenOS for a, a rebuild. And exactly. you guys completely redid it. And you guys are getting traction. You guys announced at the show, a uh, partnership with Middleby, which people probably know they own Viking, they own the Brava countertop, and some other consumer brands. Aga, uh, La Cornu, uh, Range Master, um, also uh, great outdoor grilling brands like uh, uh, Tomato Joe and a couple of others yeah, yeah. as well. So it's, and uh, if you are uh, using their new app, which is powered by Fresco, can you connect to like Instant Pot or can you connect to like the Panasonic appliances? kind of in the broader fresco universe so we see the future of the kitchen uh you know it's not like any other part of the smart home you know all of your appliances need to work together you know uh in consort so this is what fresco we're working on with the fresco account so in the viking app in the aga app in the instant brands app uh, in the panasonic app each one of these uh apps that we're building that has the the fresco account you will be able to control all of the different appliances side by side in the same recipe uh, uh, and from your kitchen. All right, Ben Harris, CEO of Fresco. Thanks for spending time with me here at KBiz 2024. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, everyone. All right.